Greetings, Adobe users and extension developers. Spellbook, a tool for assigning shortcuts to extension commands, is now available for extensions beyond Knight's Kingdom. This video consists of two parts. First one is for users to explain Spellbook features and how to enable third-party support. Second one is for developers to learn how to add Spellbook support to your extension. Part 1 – For users Currently, Spellbook works with following Adobe applications. Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign. Spellbook will launch automatically with Adobe App and close itself after you close all Adobe applications. In some applications, the ones that use UXP platform, for example Photoshop, you will be prompted with this window. Spellbook plugin wants to open Spellbook application. Remember your choice and allow it. Spellbook window can be opened from the extensions menu, tray icon or with a shortcut. Spellbook will show different set of extensions and shortcuts for each Adobe application. To assign a shortcut to an extension command, click on an input box and press the shortcut. If Adobe application already uses that shortcut, you will get a warning. To enable shortcuts for third-party extensions in Spellbook, it is needed to purchase a license. License will work for unlimited number of extensions, so there is no need to have additional license for every new tool you get. That said, Spellbook will stay free for Knight's nice tools. So before getting Spellbook license, you can download, for example, free portal extension and see how Spellbook works. You can trigger extension commands directly with URL link. This is useful for control surfaces like Stream Deck, Touch Portal and others. Spellbook allows to create different shortcut profiles that will be focused on specific tasks or workflows. You can switch between them in tray menu or toggle them with a the shortcut. Also, you can export the current profile and import it on another computer. The shortcuts file is compatible with both macOS and Windows. Here's an important reminder about how Spellbook works. Spellbook only listens for shortcut presses when Adobe application is active. Be aware that shortcuts assigned in Spellbook will only trigger an extension command and their default system behavior will be blocked. For example, pressing A will trigger command execution and won't type the letter A in the text box. Part 2 – For Developers Spellbook works both in CEP and UXP platforms. It consists of application and extension, which acts as a bridge between Spellbook app and your extension. I've created two NPM modules for both platforms. These modules provide interface for commands registration and handling command event. After installation, here's what you need to do. Import Spellbook, create array of the commands, command ID and name are needed. Also you can specify group name, in case if you want to break your commands in groups in Spellbook. Action will run when command is triggered. Instantiate new Spellbook, pass extension name along with its ID and commands array. Spellbook provides three methods. Register – to add or update commands Start and stop – to toggle listening for commands Spellbook also extends event emitter, so you can listen for specific command events Notes about UXP implementation In UXP there is no hidden inter-plugin communication like we have in CEP Command entry point currently is the only option to communicate between plugins Therefore you will need to add Spellbook plugin command to your entry point and enable plugin communication. 
Also, setup entry point, so spellbook plugin method, will run during communication. There is only one downside. This command will be shown in your plugin menu. If user will click it, he will get this alert. I hope at some point, Adobe team will allow us to hide commands from menu. All information is also available in manuscript and in npm readme files. Links are in description. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have questions. I will be glad to answer them. That is all. Thank you.